question. Have you ever gone 99% of the way to a goal and fucked it up at the end? Have you ever just worked your ass off for months, maybe even years, and this is something you always wanted to do, and for some reason you just fucked it up right at the end where maybe you sabotaged yourself. Maybe you did something that made a, you stop. You, you stopped and you didn't get it. Well, this is the subject that's really fucking passionate to me. That means a lot to me because I suffered from this for a long time. And I had to read a shitload of books to figure out how to fucking solve this thing. It's crazy. You wouldn't believe it. Um, and I want to make this video to tell you what the fuck is going on there. Broaden your awareness. You know what is going on and better yet, how to fucking get past it. Okay, this is going to pull together the strings on how your identity works, how that affects you in your life. Sorry, I fucking crazy ass night last night. How your identity works, how visualization plays into this, and how to stop chasing your goals. How to stop feeling like you're always chasing it, and how to start getting it to feel like you're being pulled towards it. All right, so let me get my handy dandy whiteboard out right here. What the fuck is my marker? There it is. Not prepared. So here's the deal. First off, it all has to do with your identity. And identity is who you think you are. So when I say my name's Peter, I go, oh, I'm a media buyer. I live in the Caribbean. You have these things about yourself that you say, and there are also things about you that aren't true, right? So I am not a woman, or I am not, fuck, I, I'm trying to get a good example of this, or I'm not a gardener, right? If I found myself in a position as a gardener, I would be like, this isn't me, I'm getting the fuck out. You ever say that to yourself? This isn't me, this isn't me. Well, listen, if your subconscious thinks that success isn't you, you're gonna fuck it up, okay? For me, if I was the struggling entrepreneur, that meant I wasn't the great entrepreneur. I wasn't doing well. I was the broke beginner entrepreneur, right? So let me show you an example. Let me show you how this works. Okay, I'm gonna get this, this thing out. You're gonna have to bear with me because I'm trying this. So this is you. This is you. And you are all these things. You were all these things like maybe an entrepreneur, but you gotta be more specific than that. Maybe your subconscious thinks that you're a broke entrepreneur or maybe that you think that you're a certain type of advertiser. Maybe you think that you're something, but whatever it is, you're gonna go through life and if you have a goal that's outside of your self image, you hit this little wall right here because maybe you have this goal of being a millionaire or something making 50k every two weeks like it's butter maybe you have this goal or maybe you want to make 10k it doesn't have to be crazy start slow right and you have this goal but your subconscious beliefs that's not you you're gonna fuck it up you can't break through this wall so right now you're trying to go from here to there but your subconscious says hey I'm this so if you ever feel if you ever hit a wall or something like that in your life, know that you have hit the boundaries of your identity. It means that you have hit a boundary. Somewhere in your subconscious mind, there's a fucking boundary and you have to solve that. If you wanna get past it, you have to start going to here. And here's how you do that, okay? If you think you're the broke entrepreneur, well, first off, chances are you have five broke entrepreneur friends right? Who are also just getting started. Step one, I love my friends, but you got to kind of push them off and find some friends who are where you want to be. That's a big one, right? So here's how you get to here. Cause right now you're pushing through. I'm going to, here's how you pull yourself to this. All right. Start to visualize yourself. This is where visualization comes in. You need to tell your subconscious, no, this isn't fucking me. This is the unevolved me. The broke entrepreneur is the unevolved me, the evolved me, the real version of myself that I must get to, to have happiness, fulfillment, joy, all these things is over here. This is fucking death. This is, this is shit. Imagine, imagine missing out on that shit. You know, this fucking sucks. You have to start 
to visualize yourself as this person. You have to change your subconscious identity and be like, no, bitch, I'm not this person. I'm this person over here. And when you do that, that's when your subconscious starts pulling yourself. Because now, physically, you're over here, you're still over here, but your subconscious thinks you're over here. So now you are outside of your identity and your subconscious doesn't like that. Because the strongest force in human nature is the need to stay consistent with who you believe you are. That's some Tony Robbins shit right there. All right? So when you believe you're this person and your subconscious believes it, it'll start feeding you fucking ideas to get you the hell out of here. Because you are in no man's land right now. You, this is how you start getting pulled to here. It's identity. One book. This is the most read book I've ever fucking had. This is one of the biggest... And most impactful books of my life. It's called Psycho Cybernetics. And the only reason I found it out was because I was living in San Diego. I just fucked the whole business into the pavement. I hit a wall that allowed me, I was this close from making a deal that would pay my rent. And I fucked it up. Because <laughs> if I got that deal, that would have meant that I was getting somewhere. And in my subconscious mind, I wasn't that guy yet. So I. It wouldn't let me have it. I fucked it up. I had to move back into my parents' house. And it was so unnatural and unweird. I convinced myself that I would do whatever it takes to figure out why the fuck that happened <laughs> and how to change it. And this is what I think is really the reason why 9 out of 10 people fail in business. Okay, It's not because business is fucking 9 out of 10 times hard. You don't figure it out. It's because the identity never changes. Right? They never change who they believe they are. When you realize that you are in the process, you are in the process right now of getting to this evolved version of yourself, and isn't that really what it is? The, isn't that what it's about to become the most evolved version of you? Imagine being a fucking caterpillar and never making it to a butterfly where you can fly around and fucking chill all day long. You know, you're just crawling on the ground like a jackass. All right? So that's the goal. Visualize affirmations, you write down, I am self-made billionaire 100,000 times. I am ripped as fuck 100,000 times. Visualize yourself as that person. And if you ever feel like you're hitting a wall again, check your identity, son. Because the identity holds the key to everything that you are doing. Party naked. <laughs>